Hi guys, so we found out yesterday that we could actually use Newzella for a student version on their cell phones. So a couple of things that are kind of cool is you can either sign in using an account that already exists or push join. And they can create their own Newzella account if they don't want to have an email associated to it or use their Google. I'm going to actually create one for my own kids um, at my house. And so that's going to run there. There it goes. So you can choose if you want to join a teacher's class, um, which then they will need a code or they can not. It's easier to join a class and the codes are within the teacher app online. So in this case, we're going to join. Push next. And there's a class I already created with that one. They can sign up with any of these options, but they can also do it without. Um, so I'm going to create one for my daughter who's in first grade. And any username that they can remember. And remember that the readings do go down to second grade. So this is appropriate um, for elementary. You can also filter for elementary content um, to kind of keep kiddos safe there and interested. And that's already taken. So we just add another one on here. There we go. And get started. And it will bring them here. According to Nazella, there's actually a couple of more options on this app on their phones than what is online. Um, one thing they also said is that you don't have to actually have internet access for this to be working. So kids can let it sync when they have access. So either here at school in the morning or after school, or if they're in a location that does have internet to get new articles, but otherwise they can completely use it without having to have any sort of um, internet access, which is really, really nice. So they can do their latest ones in here and kind of scroll through. They can look at assignments that they have. Um, they can search for text sets or articles in here. And so if we looked up World War II, and they can also use the filter. So if I want to make sure that they're reading a certain grade level or looking at certain text strategies or certain languages, they can do that. So if I want to look at second grade reading level, push done. There's also text set options. So if I look at that. And this one's fun also. So kids can actually make their own text sets on this, um, which they can't do on, to my knowledge, on the internet side of it, on the computers, but they can do it on here, which is one of the new features. Um, so kids can either look at current text sets or they can create their own and give it a title. You can pick an emoji if you want or just say you're done and start finding those articles that you want to add. And you just push this button right here. So if you want to add that there, it's just been added and kind of go through. Um, then you can also click on the article itself to see if you want to add that. 